Chariot racing was big business in Rome. And the chariot drivers, they were the celebrities of the day. And the supporters, they were just as passionate about their teams as people are about their favorite football teams today. Now back then there were four teams. There were the reds, the blues, the whites, and the greens. Come the greens. <laughs> no way. Go the blues. The racetrack known as the Circus Maximus was so big that it could hold maybe 200,000 fans. Race tactics were pretty brutal, so there were smashes and collisions galore. Away from the racetrack, each main town had a sports arena that looked just like our modern sports arenas do today. But Rome had the grand daddy of them all, the Colosseum. Events here and at the circus were free, all subsidised by a rich person wanting to be popular with the people. The Colosseum could hold 50,000 spectators at once. Gladiators would fight here as an entertainment, like we go to see sporting contests today. Back then, people were much more used to seeing blood and death than we are in present times. So to them, it was kind of an entertainment to watch people fight to the death against wild beasts or even each other. On special occasions, they could flood the whole ground level with water, sail small boats around, and even hold sea battles. 